It's me, Mario. There is a third dimension beyond that which is known to man. I've tried over and over and countless times wondered how I would start this video uh, with Super Mario 64. What do you say about Super Mario 64? <laughs> it essentially took a two-dimensional franchise and completely blew it out of the water and did something that hasn't been done before. It is by far one of the greatest games of all time. I would claim it to be a downright masterpiece that holds up very well today. Um, so I won't be talking too long. Um, I would actually like to just kind of let the game do its own thing. I'll pop in every now and then and kind of commentate just a bit and let you know my my feelings or opinions on something. But for the most part, what I'm going to do is just a multi-part video of me just kind of exploring around and I'm gonna hit 120 stars through these videos I might space them out a little bit so the second part won't necessarily be uh, directly after this video or anything but I would like to completely play through this game 120 stars a hundred percent it and for anybody who hasn't seen what you get after the 120 stars, I'd like <laughs> to show you that as well. So, um, I won't be talking too much, but I do kind of want to go over this just real quickly. Mario 64 is my favorite game on the Nintendo 64, and actually, it's my favorite game of all time. Uh, it really did redefine what I loved about video games. I was a very big two-dimensional Mario fan and then this game came out in 1996 and I begged my parents to get me a Nintendo 64 and uh, lo and behold on my birthday um, I got a Nintendo 64 and along with a copy of this game I stayed in my room probably the entire summer playing it and uh, I can pick it up and play it to this day and still feel like it's a great great game but I won't be shooting my head off too long um, I would really like you guys to kinda see the game for what it is um, it's ingenious uh, everything from jumping in the paintings to the wing caps and all of that um, just a very great game and I'm gonna play through uh, this is part one of my Super Mario 64 playthrough. I will be back towards the end of the video just to kind of wrap things up and talk a little more about things, but I'd like to just kind of play through if, if you guys don't mind and uh, hope you enjoy what you see.
Let's go. Alright, I just wanted to pop in for a second there. Um, yeah, so this was really cool, the Babom Battlefield. Um, <laughs> a really cool opening to everything. It kind of gets you familiar with how the game works, and there isn't really a way to fall off the stage or anything, so um, it was a nice opening level, and there's a lot of cool secrets here. I really love the open worldness of this game. Uh, I don't think. That, I, why do I keep hitting that fence? <laughs> Uh, I don't think they've ever really gone back to um, uh, this type of design, even in the Sunshine and Galaxy games, which are far more linear, in my opinion, than this game is. Uh, uh, it's just me, though. And I'm just kind of wandering around here. I know there's a eight 
uh, eight red coin challenge going on here, but um, I'm just kind of walking the level just a little bit just to kind of show you everything. Uh, excellent game. I uh, I can't praise it enough. I think it's it's one of the defining games of uh, my lifespan, at least. It's it stands right alongside Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario World is the best title in the franchise. Uh, I tell you what, I'm actually going to bail out of this one really quick just so I can show you guys a little more. Um, just in case anybody that maybe a younger viewer stumbles upon this or anything and they see this game for the very first time, I'd like them just to kind of see it. Uh, see, see a little bit about the game, maybe it'll interest them to pick it up on the uh, Wii U eShop or Virtual Console or whatnot. I'm going to dive into another world, then uh, I say I'll carry it out to about 10 stars, and then I'll call it quits for the night, and I'll pick back up with a part two uh, shortly after, maybe in a day or so, after I get a few other videos under my belt. Um, but anyway, enjoy the remainder of the video. I was a little unconventional there, but uh, it's a shortcut. Oh, my God. 
I should just mention that, um, in case anyone didn't know, I am playing this off of a Wii U, uh, off the virtual console, so it is on my Wii U. I think the, if you can, um, I prefer the Nintendo 64 version, uh, just because I think this game was really, uh, tailor-made for the, uh, N64 controller, so I prefer that version over this one just because, well, the N64 controller is is way better suited for this game than anything else, even if you're using like a, a classic or a pro controller, um, the N64 controller just was tailor-made for this game, so if you're, if you can find a copy for a fairly decent price, oh, I got caught talking and smushed myself. <laughs> If you can find the system and the copy for a decent price, I suggest you play it off of that. But if you can, the Wii U version or the Wii console version or really any other version will be fine. Um, either way, it's a great game. I can't believe I'm getting... <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost to this guy, even when I was younger. There we go. But... <laughs> Uh, only reason really being just uh, just because of the N64 controller. Uh, that was probably the best example of uh, <laughs> of that controller's usage. The best reason for that controller to exist, really. But just my opinion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the gamepad or anything. I'm I'm using the gamepad right now and it's working great. In fact, I mean, realistically, if Let's just say your wife or your mom or your dad or whomever is uh, wanting to watch TV. If you get the Wii U version, you can actually play this on your gamepad. So that's actually a really cool perk. Um, it's like having a handheld version of Super Mario 64, which is awesome. Anyway, back to the game for me. Um, I'll talk to you guys at the end of this video.
Uh, that's another thing about the Wii U gamepad. As, as you might have noticed, I accidentally hit my uh, ZR button. And uh, <laughs> that can kind of be bothersome because you'll accidentally hit it every now and again. Uh, and it'll bring up that menu thing. Kind of takes you out of the game just a bit. Um, small gripe, but it does happen. And I apologize that I am zooming through all the text and everything. I'm on a kind of a time crunch. Um, so... You'll have to kind of read those for yourself. Um, well, I've hit 10 stars. We're one, uh, one twelfth of the way there. And uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll end this at as part one. We'll carry on uh, on the second part. On the second part, we will discover uh, why there's sunlight beaming down on this uh, area here. We'll also find a few hidden rooms within this uh, castle and we'll explore the rest of the bottom floor. Um, we might even get around to Bowser in the second part of this video. I'm going to really kind of take my time and uh, collect all the stars and get all the goodies and everything. But other than that, um, that's the end of part one. I appreciate anybody who stuck around and kind of checked this out. And if you've never played this game before, you're doing yourself an injustice. I believe that everyone should play through this game 100%. If you're a Nintendo fan, if you're a Mario fan, if you're a video game fan in general, you owe it to yourself to play Super Mario 64. It is by far my favorite game of all time. I think it holds up extremely well. If it has any issues, it really has to do with the time frame of which it was made. Um, camera issues are something I hear a lot of, but I can get past it. Um, some people claim the game looks kind of dated, but I think even just looking at this video, you can tell it's it's pretty colorful and it looks fairly good for being over what 10, 20, 30 years, 20 years old. Um, but yeah, great game. Um, I definitely suggest you check it out if you haven't. Stay tuned for part two, and we'll continue tackling the rest of this bottom floor of the castle. Other than that, we're tired. <laughs> All right, we'll catch. Later. Bye.